Welcome back to After the Whistle. I'm Phil Venati, and it's a pleasure to have Kurt Weinberg of Bizman Lacrosse join us on the show. Kurt, welcome. Thank you very much, Phil. Appreciate it. And it's great to have you here. The last time we kind of spoke, the lacrosse season was canceled, like so many other sports back in the spring season due to, due to the coronavirus. And a year later, we are back. First of all, what is it like to be back with the program? One of the things that we see is the kids are just so eager. A number of them are in other sports that resumed. But for some of our guys, they haven't touched, you know, they haven't been around lacrosse in, in a year and a half. And so they're just so fired up. They're so excited to be on the field. And you kind of feel like, a little bit like, you know, it's not COVID anymore, but it is. And so you always have that in the back of your mind. But uh, the, the players are excited to be there. And I know we were talking a little bit before you came out, um, mm -hmm. and you mentioned to me the numbers, the numbers that are here. I think you mentioned to me 120 members. 120 kids that are showing I mean, up. That's amazing. And, uh, you know, the growth of this sport you're seeing, what is it doing for the sport, and, and what's so encouraging about, about well, that? Well, you know, when you start out in 2014 and you have six kids show up, and you lend them your sticks that you have, you look at each other and wonder, Sean Worley and I looked at each other, is this going to happen? And now to see where we are now, and to know that you've had a small pit, small bit to do with that, it's a pretty awesome feeling. Um, we are also talking to you because this coming weekend, NDSU is coming to Bismarck uh, to play a pair of games. You know, let me know how, or tell me about how this all kind of came together. Um, Zach Bosch, who's the coach of the NDSU Bison Lacrosse, uh, contacted me looking for field space for the weekend of April 17, 18, because they were going to try to bring some teams in and kind of meet at a neutral site to cut down on travel and uh, so I sent them a list of areas and they were able to nail down St. Mary's. Uh, St. Mary's has been very cooperative, really great to work with and so um, the Bison are going to play against University of Montana Helena in Helena uh, this weekend, yeah. And uh, and I know it's those games that are coming up but there's also some valuable experience. I, I, I believe oh, they're going to be interacting with the kids. As right, well. yeah. Um, a couple opportunities for our players. Uh, number one, they're going to get to be ball boys, ball girls, so they'll be shagging the balls after a shot and uh, keeping the uh, lacrosse balls around the field at all times. Uh, but also, after the game on Saturday, the players from the uh, Bison are going to put on a little mini clinic for all of our players who are interested. And what do you think that does to the ki for the kids, you know? <laughs> I, I can't wait to see some little eight-year-old looking up at this big guy just admiring and just in awe of these big players. I mean, they hear our voices all the time, but it's it's always good for kids to hear new voices, and here's that opportunity. Um, I know I know this is a growing program and whatnot, but I mean, wh where, why do you think this sport is kind of caught on in this area and, and, and kind of uh, grabbed so many, so many members and, and you've seen that kind of grow? I, th I think it, there's a couple of things. First of all, if you can get a lacrosse stick in a kid's hand, it's fun. It's fun to practice. You can be creative. You can find a wall, wall ball. Um, the playing of the game is kind of a mixture of hockey, soccer, football. It's a combo of, of all those. And you can keep kind of gauging personal growth by your skill level. And so there's always that continual growth. That, you know, you're always going to miss a basket playing basketball. Well, you're, you know, you're always going to miss catching a lacrosse ball, but you're going to get better and better. And kids can make that kind of like that rapid improvement that rapid growth, and, and uh, I think that's one of the other things that appeals. It's fun. And it's for all ages too, right? Correct. We have um, little laxers that's for our, our, the youngest kids. We have uh, 10 and under, we have 12 and under, 14 and under, then we have a junior varsity and a varsity team right now that travel. Well, I mean, it's, it's a great sport. Uh, you kind of made your pitch already, but for those who are on the fence, I mean, why, why should they look up your program and be a part of it? I think that it's... Um, Kind of, kind of Sean's and my dream was to offer it as that niche for maybe a kid who's tried other sports, but this is kind of the one that fills that little, that little gap. We have a number of players for whom this is their activity. This is their sport. And that, that was kind of our dream. Yeah, we have a ton of kids that play hockey because there's great carryover. Um, kids that play basketball, the defensive tactics, personal tactics, are almost identical. Matter of fact, this week... I had a kid, I was showing him some slides, and he goes, oh, it's just like basketball when we help. I said, exactly. <laughs> and so there's, there's carryover from other sports. Um, Wayne Gretzky is a great proponent of lacrosse as supporting hockey. 
but I believe it also supports any other sport. But it also standalone too for those kids that this is their deal. Well, Kurt, I, I mean, it's a great sport. It's fun to watch this grow uh, through the years. I know you started it a few years ago, and yeah. so. I appreciate you joining me on the show, and I'm glad that you could show, share your love of the sport. Yeah, well, we really appreciate the opportunity to come in here and, and tell people about lacrosse. Uh, it's, um, it is the fastest growing sport in the U.S. right now, and uh, we want to keep that growth going. There's a saying, grow the game, and uh, that's, that's our mission. All right, Kurt. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks for coming on the Thank show. Thank you very much.